next dots video we're going to talk about the clear lines button and the logic pertaining to that so if we look at our buttons we have our clear line button we want to grab the click event because that's what we're going to be implementing so if we're clearing something from the screen or the canvas rather we've already have it on the canvas we've drawn lines we've drawn buttons now we can't simply clear one thing we have to basically clear everything then redraw what we want and leave out what we were trying to clear off so in this case we'd have to redraw all of those points but not draw any of the lines all right so the first thing we have to do is clear off the entire canvas we've already done that once in the clear canvas button and we'll do the same thing here so we go into our canvas and we get the clear procedure so we want to call drawing canvas dot clear that clears the entire thing now unlike our clear canvas button we're not going to reset our lists because we still want those values we just have to draw all the button all the dots now okay we don't want to draw any lines we just cleared them away now we're just drawing the dots all right so the first thing we think about is okay what color is our paint color our dots are supposed to be green are we currently green or black we don't really know so we might as well go ahead and set our paint color to green and then we want to think about what we want to do to draw those dots on the screen. So again, we have our parallel lists that have all those values in them. And so we want to go through those lists again, just like we did for our connect button or similar to what we did for our connect button, I should say, and then go and draw a circle like we did initially at each X, Y pairing. Okay. So we want to grab our variable. We're going to use another local variable. We're going to name it index. And we're going to start it at one, right? Because we're going through our lists. And the first item in our list is at index number one, All right? So we could use a while loop just like we did. But instead, we're going to use a for each loop in this example all right so under control there's a for each item in our list loop we say what list well we'll start with the x values because it makes sense to get the x value and then get the y value after that okay so we don't want to be naming item items kind of generic rename it to x all right for each x in our x values we're going to do something that makes sense okay so what next now we have an x value we need the y value okay so we have an index if we have an index we can access our list all right so that means we can get our select block we can get our y values list and we can get our index and we have all this select box set up, but we have to put it somewhere. And so we can say, okay, we can put it in a variable. So we can just make another local variable. So every time through our loop, we get the X. Our for each gets the X for us, but we can also get the Y, right? So we can perform the same style operation that our for each would do in behind the scenes right it selects an item and puts it in an x we're going to do it explicitly and select an item from our y values with our index and put it in a y now remember if we're going through a list we need to increment our index all right so we need to add one to our index and we want to do that before the end of our loop 
okay? We can't do it outside our loop because then it doesn't happen every time through. So we can't do it down here. We want to do it before the end of the loop. So every time through we add one to our index, okay? So now we have this, okay, what are we going to do? We have an x, okay? We have a y. Now we just want to draw a circle, just like we did before. So we duplicate that block, or we grab it from the drawer, and now we're drawing a circle. And, well, where's the center? Well, it's at x. And where's the center y? Well, it's at y. And that's how it goes. And so since we've set up x and y already properly in our loops, in our loop, and through our variables, okay, we can just get them just like we did before. But instead of them coming from the touched event, they're going to come from the actual lists where all those values are stored. Right? So our x comes from the x values and our y comes from the y values. And this will go through and draw every point one by one back on the screen. But we don't want to draw the lines, because this is the clear lines button. So we skip that step. So now we've drawn all the points back on our screen. And so we should see all these green dots show up again. 